With polls opening on the midterms tomorrow, that means we have local analysis about how choices made here will affect the leadership of California and leadership in Washington, D.C. I will be joined live this segment for this election eve by Democratic analyst Andrew Acosta and GOP consultant Tim Rosales. Good morning to you both. I know, Andrew, you can hear me. We're going to start with Tim. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. Election Eve, almost your Super Bowl. With the departure of Congressman McNerney, California's 9th Congressional District is one of 11 contests nationwide that could determine if Democrats keep control of the U.S. House. In the primary, current 10th District Congressman Josh Harder pulled 36.7 percent of the vote to Tom Patty's 29 percent. Harder's raised 6.2 million, Patty 1.4 million. Tim, how do you see this one playing out? Well, I think like a lot of these races, it's going to come down to who turns out on Election Day. Uh, we've got early votes uh, that are coming in, uh, but it, it seems that uh, those votes are lower than what we've seen in the past. Uh, and, and voters are turning in, uh, you know, fewer early votes than they have, whether that is they're all waiting for Election Day uh, or uh, they're not as interested in this election as they have been in past elections. That remains to be seen, uh, certainly on the money side. Uh, Josh Harder, uh, having moved from a district over uh, more in the Modesto area, now uh, wanting to run over the Stockton area, uh, has raised significantly more money, spent more money. Uh, Tom Patty, sitting county supervisor in San Joaquin County, has been you know running a grassroots campaign, but raising you know raising a decent amount of money to get his message out. Um, that that's going to be one of the the bellwether races I Same think we question. see in, in California, and there's going to be a host of others as well. Alrighty, and now we're going to go to Andrew for his take on this race between Harder and Patty. Andrew? Uh, yeah, he did. I think Tim nailed it. I think the, the follow the money, you know, I don't know if there's as much money coming out of the leadership funds um, that, uh, uh, you know, that you see in other races like Adam Gray's race in the Valley. Um, so, you know, Patty's a little bit, he's sort of on his own on, on this one. And, you know, Harder's hitting him pretty hard on an issue that's pretty relevant across the state. Uh, homelessness. Definitely. Now, uh, we'll get to homelessness in just a second, looking at Measure O in Sacramento County. But let's talk about another statewide issue at the moment. The governor's not really campaign campaigned for himself, but has campaigned intensively for Prop 1, which would enshrine abortion rights in California's Constitution. I think most folks across the country, most folks across the state think that if there's any place where something like this can pass, it's here. I just want to throw out that even though the ranks are declining, Catholicism is still the largest religious group in California. Bishops have asked parish priests statewide for weeks and weeks to use their homilies to speak against Prop 1. Any chance it doesn't pass, Tim? No, no chance at all. Um, I think it's uh, it's pretty well baked in at this point. And, and in California, um, I don't think anybody would expect anything different. And and that is, I think, one reason why maybe this issue is not the motivator uh, that some thought that it was going to be, because I think most Californians, wherever you are on the issue, and particularly those um, who are on the pro-choice side, um, there there is no fear or threat of, of abortion not being uh, legal, um, uh, in California. Uh, absolutely no threat of that uh, here in the state. So I think that, um, you know, that uh, those results are kind of a, a little bit predetermined. I think that has has uh, made a difference in terms of intensity of turnout, where in other states where that may, may be an issue, um, it, it may be uh, voters may be thinking about it in a different way. But in California, there's no chance of, uh, of it not passing here. Feeling the same, Andrew, when it comes to Prop 1? Yeah, I think Tim, again, nailed it. I, the, the thing that we as Democrats were hoping that we could make this an issue and it would stick to a bunch of Republicans in these down ballot races, and I'm not sure it has. I guess, you know, we, we will know more, but clearly it, it, if people are motivated, they're, you know, they're not rushing to the polls. I mean, I kind of view this as less of a of a Super Bowl and more of a World Cup that's going to take a month to figure mm. out you know, who's going to be the winner. <laughs> Got it. I see. Now, homelessness is a critical issue statewide. Andrew mentioned this earlier. The latest point in time count in Sacramento County put the number of our unhoused neighbors at more than 9,000 in the city of Sacramento. Voters will decide on Measure O, which is billed as a solution to homelessness with the county and the city working together. But the details about how the county will provide the mental health and substance abuse services that will make the city's sheltering plans work have not not been revealed, so voters are voting on an unknown. Andrew, does this pass? Well, I helped uh, craft this measure, so I'm, you know, I've seen a lot of the polling, and um, you know, here's what we know: voters are very frustrated. They don't see any 
plans uh, that are relevant or are having any impact on what they see as they drive down the street. Uh, you know, Measure O was a cry from the business community to try to get people to work together. And it's, it is unfortunate that it took this measure to try to, to, to get the county and the city mm -hmm. to start working together on some real solutions. And I think if voters had a chance to vote on this, they would vote on it because they're looking for something to happen and they don't see anything uh, that, that's happened in the last couple of years that's relevant. All righty. And Tim, we're out of time so quickly. Just yes or no, does O pass? I, I hope it does um, because I think that Andrew is absolutely right. Uh, but I hope it I hope it passes. All righty. Thank you so much. We'll be checking back in with you over the next few days. We appreciate you.